Hey, hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are starting a new series called Redstone Man, or whatever I'm gonna call it, but today we are building a piston activated door, so this is how it's gonna look, but I need to show you how to build it. I'm gonna go a little bit away, so what you first gotta do, wait, you know what, let me just go into survival, get the pickaxe. Oh god. So you need pressure a stone pressure not sure if it's specific. A sticky piston. A block of your choice. So for this one I'm gonna be doing how about we do gold door? No, how about how about we do bedrock? We need a stack of bedrock. You don't actually need a stack of bedrock. I'm just saying you need some to two torches, I know that. And redstone, you need around 16. So just watch this video for future preferences. But let's go into game mode C. Game mode S. So you want my IC hole. So I just did it. What you do is you place redstone in between here. I also watched tutorials to make this video. So what you do is you mine two out and then you get this one like that. And then for this here, you mine two out, mine this one up here. And that's my tutorial. Pause if you need to. So I'm giving you time to pause. Pause the video. Pause it right now. So, so if, if you're watching this video, if you want to do a redstone door sometime for your redstone contraptions, just give me credit down in the comment section down below and stuff for showing you this if you do actually watch it. So what you do is you put two, the two redstone there. There are two redstone there, and you put a torch up here, two torches, and then, and then you put, you got basically two blocks of your choice. Now, let me show you guys that. If I wanted, I could have, not TNT, that would, that would ruin everything. I could probably have like lapis and pink wool too. Game, game mode S, so I could, oh god, I didn't grab that many. Just say we grab like some lapis. It will. Uh, you could put this. You have to put this on the floor, like this. I got him stuck. That's, that wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, so you put it like this. It's the same thing for this one. You put that there. And now what you do is you place the two sticky pistons down. Watch out, that one might push you. And then you place these two down. As you notice, one isn't walking. So you're like, oh my god, a sticky piston, piston isn't walking. So you place one piece of redstone there, and one piece of redstone there. So you basically got your door out. And then just say, if I wanted it to be, no, that's ugly. Okay, now just say, if you wanted the door to be pink, wait, I'm just curious, this is for my own wonders, does it work with these? This is just, so you please, don't try this at home by the way, you place these two, oh, oh, you could actually have a clear door like this, this is actually pretty cool. But for, for like the real tutorial, you can have, you can have bedrock here, and it would open. I think I broke it. I think I broke it. God darn it. <laughs> no, okay, it's fine now. But just say if you want to create like a home out of this, you could put like some lapis up here. Some lapis like this. You could hide the redstone. See, the house doesn't look funky. You can make like a cool secret base. Like a really cool secret base. You could just put this like this. So you could use it like this. People be like, oh my god, how do you get into the house? Even though there's pressure plates right there. Just walk right in, and you, and then 
you block this up and then bam bada boom bada bang you are in the house but guys i hope you enjoyed this minecraft tutorial on how to build piston two by two piston doors now if you want to do like three by three i'm pretty sure it'll be somewhat the same like instead let me just do this quick like this is a huge tutorial I'm, so this tutorial is going to be how I make piston doors in general. So I'm guessing you'll do basically the same thing. You would just put it three pistons up. And then you would this with blocks and then you place these here right there so just say if you stack a piston there you stack the piston there and you stack another one there how do you get it to be three is a question I did not watch a tutorial on how to do that, so I'm kind of like a big plebeian right now. But possibly, you know this. Guys, don't like, I, I'm just, uh, two by two is over. I'm just testing this now. So, yeah. So don't be all, all abusive child, don't me. Like, I'm just testing stuff. You can test along with me if you want. You can know if it works before I do. I've done it. Tell me if it works, please. Okay, so. You stack two of these up. You put one. But you don't want it to be going up. I want the lapis to be going this way, and that way, and that way. So that means you would have to leave this out. Wait. Oh, piston glitch! Piston glitch! I found it! Yes. You would use that to activate. Okay, you know what, guys? My job's done. I taught you how to do the door. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave it a thumbs up. I so said this is the original one that I did while watching the tutorial. It actually isn't that hard at all. So you guys can do it real easily. But other than that, I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Peace.